Hey there my fellow designers and creatives, hope you're all doing well, this is Jaden here from Design Pilot and in this video we're going to be taking a look at all the new features released in the July update for Adobe XD, this is Adobe XD version 10, we've got a bunch of new features in this update as well, pretty cool and interesting ones, so without any further ado, let's get started. So before we get started, I just want to talk a bit about Adobe XD. If you guys are new to Adobe XD and trying to figure out what it is, I've got a top 20 features of Adobe XD video, which uh, you can find a link in the description or I'll probably put a card on the video. And uh, it talks about all the features of Adobe XD and what it's used for. So yeah, I'm in Adobe XD on a blank document and let's get started with the first feature, which is stroke enhancements. So let's go ahead and create a rectangle of sorts, just a quick rectangle. I'm going to set the border size to 10. And what you can see right now is we've got a couple more options that are pretty interesting. So we can create dashes uh, and you know space them out. I'm gonna be showing you guys that with a line. So if I go ahead and create this line, let's pretty zoom in and I'm gonna set the size to 10. I can create dashed lines. There you go, that is pretty cool. Now uh, let's make a copy of this actually and let's get rid of the dash. And then what I can do is I can select this and if I come over here, I can choose a round cap or a projecting cap or a butt cap. So the rounding cap is gonna round off the corners. The projecting cap is gonna add a slight projection after the end of the anchor point. And the butt cap is gonna stop the uh, edge of the line at the anchor point. So pretty cool. Uh, the next thing is we can check out this with this itself. So here we have the default corner shape. And then we have the round shape. So if I go ahead and uh, I can round this up even more if I want, but at the basic scale, this is what I get. And I can increase the size, okay. And also we have the bevel joint, so which is gives us something that looks like that. Pretty cool and pretty fun. And another thing that you can do is if you are an illustrator and you have a stroke with a pattern, you can copy that, you can paste it back to Adobe XD and you can copy that and paste that as a stroke. I'm not sure how many people are gonna be using that feature though, but you know, it's there if anybody wants to use it. So coming to the next feature, it is about the asset panel, some improvements to that. So this is just a simple project that I was working on. I didn't finish it, I don't plan to finish it, but you know, it's there. So um, what I'm gonna do is, as you can see on the asset panel, I have a bunch of assets. Now the new integration is the grid view and the list view. So grid view was the default one. So the default one is, this is how it looks like. And we have the list view. That gives us a more concise and an organized structure. Now the reason that they made this was because we have now the ability to rename everything. So if I click on this, I can call this a dark, a uh, blue color and I'm gonna call this a light blue color All right pretty cool and uh, then we have the uh, you know we can say blue font and you know we can call this double click on it and call it a uh, yellow font all right and what I can do now is I can actually search for assets so if I type in the word blue all the assets which have the word blue is gonna pop up but I can also wish to choose uh, let's actually go here and choose colors so that means when I click on blue I'm gonna get only the colors that have the word blue oh sorry uh, let's get that blue all right yeah so pretty cool all right, so coming to our next feature is my most favorite feature is integration with Zeppelin, Protopie, and Avocode. Now, a few updates back, Adobe XD released the same thing for the Mac versions, but now we have the same integrations on the Windows platform as well. So huge shout out and huge thank you and very grateful for this. Now, I'm going to be showing you how it works only with Protopie because I don't use Zeppelin and Avocode, uh, but I will be making a dedicated tutorial on Protopie and Adobe XD integration. It's gonna be pretty interesting. We'll be learning to create some amazing interactions in Protopie. So uh, stay tuned for that. So here I'm in Protopie. And what I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna go ahead and set this to uh, iPhone 10. Uh, let's actually set this to custom. Uh, 375, 812, 375, 812, and density set to one, click on okay. So we have a pretty small screen. I'm gonna go to file and click on import and choose Adobe XD CC. 
And as you can see, we got a bunch of options. Uh, I really have no idea as to what are all these. I need to figure these out. It's gonna take some time, but this is how they, how, this is how it basically works. I'll go ahead and click on import, and it's gonna do its thing. That's a pretty cool loading animation right over there. And boom, there we go. We have our elements that are ready to be animated and prototyped. As you can see, all the layers get added just like it was in Adobe XD. Pretty interesting and pretty cool. Definitely a lot of potential for this update. All right, so coming back to the next feature is related to design specs. So if I go and choose this and come here and choose uh, design, uh, publish design specs, I can create a link which I can share to the developer, which provides me all, which provides the developer all the information that he needs to develop the, the user interface. Uh, I've already created my link over here, but another cool feature that was added is the ability to mask passwords. So for example, I can just go ahead and type in any password I want and nobody's going to be able to see it because everything is masked. And if I want to see the entire password, I can just click on this eye and it just puts that whatever it is right there. So uh, that's a very small enhancement. So so let's talk about the design spec. So the commenting feature is if I go ahead and choose the copy the link and I'm going to paste it on a new uh, page on the browser. And as you can see, we're going to get all this information and uh, I can go ahead and choose the uh, click on the login screen and then I it's going to load up all the information for me and I can go ahead and click on the commenting feature. I can make a comment saying uh, anything I'm saying. Uh, good job or something good whatever it is and i can pin on it i can select the pin and i can place it and boom and i'm going to get an email as soon as somebody comments on my prototype coming back to our next feature is pretty interesting and really is a big help in, in speeding up your workflow so let's say i go ahead and create a circle like so all right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a picture. So ideally, in the older versions, how I would do it is I would go to Google and pick up a random picture, Tom Cruise, my favorite actor, and I'm gonna drag him and I'm gonna throw it into the circle and boom, there we go. That's how I would ideally do it. But now what I can do is go back to Google, right click, choose copy image, come back to Adobe XD, right click and choose paste appearance and boom, there we go. The picture is right there. I can probably shrink this down. I can go create a new rect square, right click and choose paste appearance and boom. That is pretty interesting. I can even double click on it and I can increase the size and I can place it however I want. So it's coming on to our last feature. Let's go ahead and create a text and I'm gonna paste in some text, all right? So this is just the text I copied it from the blog. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to area text. And once I set that to area text, I will, ooh, okay, that's, that is pretty big. I'm gonna go and just drag that and put that over here, okay? And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just press enter over here to create another paragraph. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Now, ideally in the older updates, if I wanna create paragraphs, I need to go ahead and click on it and then click here and press enter and then press enter here and you know, it, it's a manual process, but right now what we can do is just select it and come here We have a new option that says paragraph spacing and just increase it and it's automatically going to identify the paragraphs and give you an equal divided Space between each paragraph. So that is pretty much it for this video guys Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it If you did let me know in the comment sections down below Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing awesome content And I will definitely see you guys in my next video. So until then take care and bye-bye